Good Thursday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Ona, keeping you updated with our forecast. If you're on the go someplace and want to see more about what the weather's doing here in the Mid-South and the big weather stories of the day, this is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, where we try to keep you updated on what's going on here in the Mid-South and points beyond. They've got a lot of weather stories taking place as we go into the day, not the least of which is Hurricane Matthew approaching Florida. We'll take a closer look at that coming up in just a little bit. Plus, severe weather in the Mid-South. Not expecting anything for right now, but now is the time to get ready for the potential of severe weather as we go into that second severe weather season peak. That's going to be coming up in through about late October into early to mid-December. We can get some very nasty storms through here, and now is the time to know exactly what to do and where to go to to make sure that you are protected from storms in the Mid-South area. We'll help you get ready for that with some classes from the National Weather Service in just a little bit. If you notice the map right about here, you're taking a look at the state of Mississippi where numerous counties, 21 counties, including five in the News Channel 3, so you can't see the thumb, there we go, right there, five counties in the News Channel 3 viewing area are now under burn bans. We'll talk about that. We'll also take a look at your complete forecast, red bar at the bottom of your screen. Yes, once again, back into the 90s with the red triangle there, and back to the 60s tonight with mostly clear skies. Winds out of the southeast not doing much to keep anybody on the cooler side. Temperatures on the rise into the next few hours, heading from the mid to upper 70s into the lower 80s. Normal highs at this time of the year are in the lower 80s, and we're going to go well beyond that as we get into the course of the next several hours. Heading into numbers going back into the high 80s by the time the kids get out of school. Could be some lower 90s out there, although we haven't cracked 90 in the Memphis area in the last couple of days. It is still going to be pretty well up there, so if you are going to be doing anything outdoors, Please make certain that you are cautious and keep yourself hydrated as much as possible. Matthew is sitting down to the coast of Florida, and as of right now, a very dangerous storm. Winds at 125 miles per hour. You're taking a look right now at the eye wall passing Nassau in the Bahamas, and that is again a Category 3 storm heading for possible Category 4 as we go into later on this morning and into this afternoon, and looking at a very dangerous storm system on the way. Not much of any Thing going on directly in the Mid-South, and as you can see, no rainfall from Matthew is going to be affecting any part of the News Channel 3 viewing area, either around the metro or throughout the rest of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Things are very dry, no fog this morning, no visibility problems, and hardly any clouds to speak of either across much of the Mid-South area. Taking a look at the other area of where Matthew is located just off the coastline of the United States. We've got tropical storm warnings in effect for the Keys and southwestern parts of Florida this morning. We're just not seeing too much of anything else going on in the Mid-South. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. And those tropical storm warnings will remain in effect as we go into around Sunday. So if you have any plans for travel uh, anytime soon, this is something you're going to have to watch out for. Uh, hopefully not going down that direction anytime soon. Miami coastline and into and around portions of southern and eastern Florida. We have, again, numerous hurricane warnings in effect as this Category 3 storm barrels toward the coastline and makes its way possibly back to being a Category 4 storm by the time it makes landfall skipping along the west coast or the east coast of Florida and heading its way up and to the area close to around uh, the Carolinas and Georgia as well. Take a look at this forecast. Again, 140 mile per hour winds, areas just north of Miami-Dade and making their way up the coastline uh, toward about Jacksonville. This is a very dangerous storm just hugging the coastline, worst possible area that it could be, sending in a lot of damage, a lot of surf problems. Uh, numerous areas of storm surge expected out of this, and winds in this case are going to be something to worry about. A very good problem winds of 74 miles per hour. That's minimal hurricane speed uh, into and along the coastline in and around portions of Miami. And the storm is going to coastline heading for Georgia and eventually off the toward the Carolinas, eventually making some sort of landfall. It looks like it is also going to be doing something rather extraordinary over the next couple of days and these storms have been known to do something that we're gonna have to be showers and thunderstorms on the map from yesterday if you watch these computer models called spaghetti models so named because of how they look like spaghetti on a plate as the storm makes its way up the coastline the models start to work its way closer to the coastline and then up toward again as we said Georgia and the Carolinas but then something interesting happens watch the area just off the coastline states as these models continue 
to flow on in. They'll start to make the storm go back around again, heading out to sea and then coming back around toward the coastline. There is a possibility, small though it may be, that this storm may wrap around and hit Florida again. It's possible how likely it is, kind of hard to say because as of right now we're looking into next week, so things could definitely change. It looks like some of the computer models at this time have the storm going up through the Carolinas and leaving the mid leaving the area of the middle part of Florida but this area kind of curving back around again that's very worrisome and we're gonna have to watch and see what actually goes on with that sunshine and plenty of it across the mid-south at the Ole Miss Union campus camera looking again at Heidelberg Elementary some very nice sunshine there from Power Center Academy in Memphis decent sunshine in and around the area and Olive Branch from former mayor Sam Reichert's webcam very gorgeous conditions out in and around the area of North Mississippi Ranger 2015 webcam from the Weather Underground Network looking pretty good as well. Almanac page, a high of only 89 degrees yesterday. That's about 11 degrees above normal, but we did not officially hit 90 degrees. Came within four of a record high. Two hundredths of an inch of rainfall. That's all we got yesterday, and that's all. It's very bad news for much of the area because we need that rainfall. Wildfire danger is starting to become more elevated, and that's a problem for outdoor activities. Campfires, barbecues, anything like that. Anybody using welding equipment or trying to do controlled burns of fields need to check with your division of forestry or your local fire department because as of right now five counties in Mississippi in the News Channel 3 viewing area are under burn bans but that's only a part of the 21 other counties that we have in and around the state of Mississippi now so far Arkansas has not issued any burn bans and Tennessee does not issue burn bans unless it's on an extraordinary need basis rest of the day today no rainfall expected lunchtime temperatures already above their normal highs in the lower 80s heading for the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s by the time the kids get out of school later on today and then heading for numbers back into the upper 60s to lower 70s by news channel 3 at 10 daybreak tomorrow morning temperatures dropping briefly into the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s around much of the rest of the mid south the metro area should stay in the lower 60s 90s for today not much hope of anything involving cooler weather tomorrow back to the 90s once again a new cold front will approach the mid south and as it does it's going to escort in a lot of cool air Part of the problem we're going to see into around the weekend is going to be, again, the potential of very windy conditions out there as winds may top 15 to 25 miles per hour this weekend. That could lead the National Weather Service to issuing a red flag fire alert. Extreme wildfire danger could be possible into the weekend for the Mid-South. Keep it tuned. We'll keep you updated on that. Mid to upper 70s, just below normal on temperatures into this weekend and then lower 80s by next week. Next week, end of next week, back in the upper 80s, that could be a little bit too high for this time of the year. Hopefully by the time we reach that, the forecast will have moderated by just a little bit, but still on the hot side out there. Severe weather and getting ready for it. Good opportunity to learn more. Savannah, Tennessee tonight at the Hardin County Fire Department, station number 12, 6.30 p.m., 90 Walnut Street, Iuka, Mississippi, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday after that, Madison County in Jackson, Tennessee. Thursday following, back to October the 20th, Chester County Fire Station Number 1 in Henderson, Tennessee, and DeSoto County. The location has been determined. All you have to do is go to the National Weather Service in Memphis and click on their Skywarn page to find out more. Great opportunity to get ready for severe weather. Totally free. Show up, learn everything. No registration required, and you get to learn more about what could save your life during severe weather. Updates on the forecast throughout the weekend upcoming on Country 92.5. Oldies 102.3 throughout the morning on Talk Back Live with Bob and Josh on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. And don't forget about our weather app. It's available at WREG Weather uh, when you go to the App Store. And if you've got anything you'd like to send to us, pictures or other weather reports around the Mid-South, send them to Aonic underscore WREG3. Another hot one for the Mid-South today, but cooling off into the weekend, looking pretty good. Updates coming up on Live at 9 and also throughout the rest of Friday and into the weekend on News Channel 3 on air on and online. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, anything like that, please let me know. Austin.onic at WREG.com. That's it for Thursday morning from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Thanks for joining me on the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.